orgasms. When it comes to orgasms, he and she are very different organisms. He wants quality, not quantity, and is happy with one great big one, anything over 10 seconds long. Whereas she longs for extended fun, the chance to come and come and come. Timing is crucial in the whole caboodle when we canoodle. He loves a nighttime timing for the right kind of writhing, to give it his all on the job, to pop, then flop and stop and drop and be placid when he's flaccid in recovery from loving me. She loves sex in the morning as there's less chance of anyone yawning and postcoital conversation isn't so boring. Besides, it's energetic, frenetic, cosmic when the day starts with a big bang. She likes a background soundtrack for when she's on her back, as it's a fact that a beat raises energy, chemistry helps us keep aligned, entwined, and find the best rhythm to grind. Men, it is really best form to keep her warm when you perform. There is no need to remove all her clothing to get her moaning and groaning. She will start to sigh if you just rub her inner thigh, and she knows it's better to get her wetter, to lick two fingers and to linger. And strong advice for all the males, you know that you will fail if you fail to cut your nails. His fantasy is a threesome. Hers is a love potion for lifelong appreciation and devotion. Both enjoy foreplay, changing positions and variations. Now his knob is like a pressure valve that once releasing and relieving almost every other evening, it's like bleeding a radiator, whereas she can sometimes wait till later and sometimes really does prefer her vibrator or a mixture of electric stimulation and full-on penetration. When he has cottoned on to pushing her buttons and she's feeling a deep attraction, she has many mini contractions. It's like her orgasm has gave her mild early stage labour. She shudders and judders, shakes and quakes in true love making when she's not faking. And she can ride many peaks and troughs that when she's had enough and wants to stop, she'd really rather he got off. But instead, she politely doesn't stop, but knows to encourage his release. So both will be at peace, at ease, having fulfilled their needs.